guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog in today's video it is going to be a home update we're talking all things home in today's video but I'm actually gonna be doing something a little bit different a lot of bit different this is something that I haven't done since maybe like college days and that is going to a thrift store I know a lot of people go to the thrift store to get home decor there's a lot of like unique pieces that you can find so I'm really excited for today's video because I want to see like can I find like unique things as far as home decor that are like obviously like super inexpensive and yeah you guys like I'm just excited to see like what they have I'm kind of of looking for frames for our gallery wall I told you all I wanted to do a gallery wall in the breakfast nook area like on that back wall so maybe if I can find like matching frames or maybe I can find I don't know just like goodies or like a little end table like something very unique and glam I'm picturing the lady whose items I'm shopping for maybe she was older she was glam she had a beautiful home she had like diamonds and luxury and glam like frames French Parisian decor in her house and her family was like you know what grandma glamma she's a glamma for sure it's time for you to move out and move in with us or go into a nursing home the time has come and she's like okay go ahead give away all my luxury beautiful home decor that's who I'm looking for I'm looking for that woman's items in the thrift stores hopefully I can find that I'm really not one to get like vintage items or vintage pieces I really don't have anything like that in my house so I really want to add like a level of creativity and something different in my home so I'm really excited to head to the thrift store and see what we can find we're also going to be taking down a Christmas decor in today's video um, it's gonna be like day in the life vlog chill moments probably a haul in there because you know how we do so yeah if that sounds like something you're interested in if you're ready to take down the Christmas decor because I, I I am I wasn't for a while but I'm like I want to go into the new year with like new year fresh clean no Christmas um, and also go to the thrift store then please just keep on watching I I don't know if this is a fun fact or what but okay I know I cannot be the only one who's like low-key afraid of the thrift store like thrift stores are so scary to me I don't know what it is you all know I don't do scary ignore all that we'll put that away later in today's video I don't do scary I don't do like haunted things and something about the thrift store makes me nervous like there's something about the dolls the old stuff it's like like it just reminds me of like a haunted movie so I don't know we're about to head out and hopefully Hopefully, um, I don't get too scared. Hopefully this stuff is not too scary. And yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Are you like that too? Like going into thrift stores and seeing like the dolls and like the old antique things. Like sometimes it's like kind of scary and spooky. Like, is there a spirit connected to this? I don't know if I want to bring it to my home. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I don't think I have the thrifting gift. I really don't think I have it. I didn't see not nothing in there that I wanted. Like, I, I don't know about this. So we're gonna go to another one. I need to get home. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna see. We're gonna see because guys, I watch these videos and people find like the cutest stuff and maybe it's because like they live in LA and the thrift stores are different than the ones here in South Carolina because that Goodwill had not a drop, not not nothing. Like they had one frame that I showed you that I thought was like really, really cute and it had like a thick white mat inside the frame and it was black and I was like, oh my gosh, maybe I could do like a gallery wall. Like, are there any others? But the thing about thrifting and I'm sure all of you all who are like pro thrifters um know this like there's only one i'm like what am i gonna do with just one like i, I don't know so we're gonna head to the next one hopefully we have better luck and yeah fingers crossed <laughs> I actually found some stuff. I'm so excited. I found some things in there that were actually really cute. So we'll do a haul when we get back. There's one more place and I want to go, but it's like kind of getting late and I really should be getting home to my children. So maybe we'll go there later. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm excited. 
Okay, you guys, so it is the next day. Another day, another sweatshirt, of course. I have so much to say about the thrift store. First of all, first of all, nobody told me that they increased their prices. I remember going to the thrift store in college and like finding like mirrors and cute frames and things like that and like vases for like $3, $4. Why was I looking at some of the mirrors and they were like $100? I'm like, since when I could get a new frame for less than that. I don't know, I guess they got wise and they started picking up on the fact that like people like us who could probably afford to get it in store choose to go to the thrift store because it's cheaper and they were like, oh no, 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 we're gonna make a profit. So I didn't get any frames like how I wanted. I saw some beautiful mirrors, but I was like, no, I saw some pieces of furniture that I thought were really, really pretty. I mean, you saw, like I got video footage of it, but okay, so remember in the beginning of the video, I said, I'm looking for the woman who was a glamma and she's in a nursing home now, but they, her kids like got rid of all of her like glam cute things. She She's not around here. She's not in my neighborhood apparently. So I wasn't able to get like that many things but I still wanted to show you what I got. So we're gonna start off with this fruit basket. You guys, I thought this was just like so glam and pretty. It doesn't look old. And that's another thing. Like I didn't wanna bring anything in here that was gonna be like stinky and old, like granny granny looking, but I still wanted something like, you know, like chic. And I thought this fruit basket would be perfect. Rob and I plan on redoing the pantry completely like putting in our own shelves like we want to do like another DIY kind of like I kind of like how we did our closet DIY we want to do a pantry one so I just am thinking ahead of like okay what do I want for the pantry and this just caught my eye and I thought this was just so pretty but like bananas you could put like you know just different fruit you could put like potatoes like onions things like that and I just really like how it's gold and yeah it's it's thrifted and I just feel like very eclectic and different and not so basic getting it everything at Target, even though I love Target. I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like you could get this in store. It doesn't look old. So I really, really like this. And you guys, I saw so many cute, like those vintage like cocktail glasses and like champagne glasses from like the 1920s. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want that. But you had to get it in a set of 12. I'm like, okay, I only want like four, maybe six. I don't want to get a whole set of 12. I couldn't purchase them individually. So that was annoying, but they had a bunch of cute ones and I really thought about getting it. But I was like, no, that's that's doing the most. Okay, moving on, we got more goodies. You guys, I see how people are like addicted to thrifting and finding things because when you find gems, you're like, oh my gosh, I wanna keep going. I wanna go to more thrift stores. So, okay, these were, I think like three or $5. I got these marble, beautiful little containers. They look like this. I was thinking, honestly, for the pantry, again, like I thought these could look so pretty in the pantry. I thought they would look really, really cute even if I have like shelves like if I decide to do in the butler butler's pantry shelves I could put these on the shelf I got two of them because there were only two I wish they honestly I wish they would have had like varying sizes but I thought these were so cute again I think they were five dollars they took the price tag off of everything so like I hope nothing breaks because I can't return it <laughs> so yeah I just thought these were really really pretty again these remind me of something that you could find at like West Elm it doesn't look old which I know like the point of going to the thrift store is like getting vintage looking things and making your house look very like cozy but I don't know I just feel like this is more my style so when I saw these I just was so excited I was like oh my gosh I have to have these they're a little bit too big for what I was thinking is oh I could put like salt in here and like when I'm cooking like sprinkle with salt but I don't know they look kind of big for that like I don't my finger can kind of like gauge like how deep it is but I don't know what to put in these let me know in the comments what you think I should keep in these I was thinking salt and pepper to be like salt bay and be fancy but anyway so Okay, and then this is like the only glam thing that I found. I found this clock and I thought this was so pretty. Look at the like crystal like imprints in here. I just think it looks very, very beautiful. They had it in a square shape and this one, I thought this one was a little bit more unique. I was thinking for the sunroom to get kind of like a bookshelf and put bins in it because I... I told you all in the last video, I was thinking about getting like this, um, like 
cabinet and I was like, you know what? No, I'm not gonna get that. I kind of want something with to give it some height because everything else, all the furniture pieces are like pretty low. So I wanted like varying height in that room. So I thought about getting a bookcase and I thought this could be really, really cute and unique on the bookcase or like even on a mantle. Like I just think this is really, really pretty and we don't have any clocks. And I'm wondering, I'm actually looking at this. Like I hope this thing works. Even if it doesn't, it's just cute. So like I can look past that, but oh, tell me, I, I hope I didn't. Oh no, I can't get this back. Oh my God, I shouldn't have did that. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I got it back in. But you just pop it up and set the time. I should have set the time before I did that. But anyway, so yeah, I just think this is so pretty and glam and just like very unique and different. Again, it looks like older vintage, but I also think this looks like something that you could get at Urban Outfitters for like $70. And this was, I think like 10 bucks, something like that. And it's like actually heavy. Like it's, it's really, really nice and pretty. So yeah, those were the things that I got at the thrift store. And yeah, I'm pretty happy. Maybe I can make this like a regular thing. Like I didn't mind like going in there and like checking it out. I'm not gonna lie. Like the first store that I went into was a good will and it was kind of stinky it kind of smelled and I kind of got freaked out a little bit but this second one where I got everything they had clothes they had furniture they had like home decor pieces like anything that you wanted they had so yeah I was just really really excited I might do this more and maybe I don't know like am I a thrifter now I, I feel like I might be coming one so yeah anyway let's continue on with the vlog Time to move on to cleaning the playroom. Let's go. You guys, can I just say, I am so, so excited for this part of the video. Okay, first of all, I can't see anything. It's the day after New Year's and we're starting this new routine. I'm just gonna have to leave my glasses on because I can't see nothing. We're starting this new routine uh, with my mom. And just all of us as a family, where on Fridays, my mom is gonna watch the babies. Hold on, let me see what I have here. Okay. So my mom's gonna be watching the babies every single Friday from 8.30 to one o'clock. And I am so excited. And then we'll get that, like she'll give them lunch and everything like that. By the time we get them back, get them ready for quiet time, we'll have quiet time from one to three. So basically my whole entire day on Friday can be dedicated to getting things done. Hence why my office is clean. I can actually show you all my desk. I feel like in every single video, I'm like hiding my desk because it's just like trashed. Well, I got it all together. We're organizing, we're cleaning and yeah, so I'm really, really excited about Fridays, but I'm also excited because today, right now, we're gonna do a little shop with me, plan with me situation. And actually, okay, let's take a field trip real quick because we are going to be designing Briella's room. I wanna switch some things around in her room. Um, I just feel like we, we need to do something. So we have these two nightstands. If you've been following for a while, these were our nightstands in our old house. One of these, this one actually, I know it was this one, was my nightstand in Brooklyn. Don't ask me why I only had one. It was a small apartment. We made it work. But 
we have these two nightstands and I think this would be perfect in Briella's room on either side of her bed. Obviously right now she has a crib so putting nightstands on either side of the crib might look a little bit awkward. She's about to be one and a half now. She won't be in that crib for very long. Anyway, anyway, I say all that because I want to put a nightstand on either side. So we're going to test that out today. That's going to be a Rob job. Okay you guys, so obviously this is Briella's room. If you are new, this is our daughter's room and what I'm thinking is putting these nightstands on either side of the crib. It might look a little bit awkward because it's like it's a crib. You don't normally put nightstands there. But like I said downstairs, she'll grow out of this crib so quickly that I just think it's it's a good place. I think it's going to look good in this room long term. So, okay, so yeah, it'll match with the gold around the mirror to have the gold nightstands. I think it's going to be cute. We'll see. We're just going to experiment. Now, as far as her closet, I know recently I just built this organization system. It is really cute. Like her closet does look cute. I, I don't need to do this, but I know you see that the door opens up and it's going to be kind of hitting up against the nightstand. So I want to take the doors off, but I don't necessarily love the closet that much to not have it closed off. So I want to do an Ikea closet in here. It'll, that's what we're going to do. Ikea closet, nightstands, and we're going to go back downstairs and try to shop for some wall decor and maybe like some greenery in here. Maybe like a vase with some pompous grass. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, this is the room we're about to shop for. So let's go shopping. The first place I want to um, look on is Restoration Hardware, which I know cute is that room? I love that. I saw these butterflies and I thought the butterflies would be so pretty. I really like the pewter. Actually, the gold is cute. I like the gold. I love this. Okay, this is really pretty. Shell art. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Details and dimensions. Okay, it's 40 wide. I, I've learned to keep my tape measure here on hand. Okay, 40 wide. So maybe we could do the sheet art on either side above the above the nightstands. Okay, so it is going to be 37 high. That's a good height. And 18 and a half wide. Oh, that's that's perfect. Oh, that's perfect. I love it. I love that. We're doing that. You guys, give this video a thumbs up for Handyman Rob. He is going to be bringing up the nightstand. Guys. <laughs> Whoa. My floors! There's pads underneath it. All right. Yeah, exactly. Be careful with her. We've had her since Brooklyn. You got this? Use the knees. You got it? You sure? Yes. Okay. And those slippers, y'all pray for my husband because it's going to Briella's room. Y'all, he can't even talk. <laughs> okay, you guys, so basically I found a couple things that I like. I think what I'm gonna do is get this, um, these things at Restoration Hardware for Briella's room. I, but I don't know, I wanna think about it, but this was just like a shop with me. I'm not getting anything right now, but I just wanted to kind of like see what was out there, kind of like get inspiration. But yeah, so let's go look and see how the nightstands look. Okay, you guys, so this is what it looks like so far. I'm not really feeling this. I wanna rearrange it a little bit. So, let's do a little rearranging, shall we? Okay, so, just imagine these doors obviously are not there, so we have this amount of space to work with. So, all the floors. So I'm thinking we move it, oh, we need to vacuum, y'all. Oh. Oh, because I like this over some. There you go. And like that maybe <laughs> I want to do a layered rug underneath here but what do you think about that oh I like this I definitely like them in her room I think it looks a little bit weird because there's a crib to have nightstands but if we let's just experiment with having a lamp I think that looks good I think that looks really nice I think once she gets like a legit bed it's really gonna come together so this is kind of where we are right now again with the crib with the doors off the Ikea stuff have an actual bed the wall things that we were just saying uh, that we were just looking at and I think that will look really really cute I honestly I don't know about obviously we, we just have to get a different rug I I like this. I have to think on it. Mm -hmm. I need to see it more and think on it, but this looks way more cozy. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice, but this looks way more like cozy and warm than what we had before. Right. We just need a different bed. It's just that bed is like the awkward part. But let's pull the blinds. It's cozy. 
fuzzy. I like it. The more I look at it, the more I really like this. I've just never seen a crib. <laughs> Rob's over me. I've just never yeah. seen a crib with nightstands on either side. But <laughs> for the time being, it's fine. Once we get an actual bed, I think it'll really come together. Yeah, so sure. yeah, this is Briella's room. Let's this is what got. this is what we're doing. This is it right here. Mm -hmm. Let's turn off that light, actually. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think it looks great. I think it looks really, really good. We just gotta get like some wall art, mm -hmm. and I think I think we'll be good. Her room is like pretty full. Yeah, it's coming together. 